me, it was attractive to come to Trent Oshawa because it's local and um, having already like an established job <laughs> and being able to support myself, I live here. It just, being able to do this locally was just an amazing opportunity, so I grabbed it. The kind of the self-directed learning that I'm getting involved with, um, I think we have some really great faculty members here for sure. Uh, they're really encouraging. Um, the diverse range of uh, kind of research interests there are here as well for such a small campus. Like there's really a lot going on here. Um, and yeah, just the group of uh, students that I'm, I'm, you know, a part of as well. Really, really great. For me, um, going after my passions um, in psychology and especially um, with addictive behaviors and that kind of thing and having professors here who are open to my research, um, uh, like my research interests and really um, guiding me and encouraging me to go along with that uh, has been like a really great experience. So I'm working here on campus in the Childhood Language and Cognition Lab. That's extra outside of my coursework, that's volunteer work. It will be turning into a research practicum as well. So I'll get to do my own kind of research interests in the lab, but it'll actually count for course credit as well. I'm also volunteering outside of the school at Distress Centre Durham. So it's, it's a crisis helpline, I guess is the best way to put it. So I've been volunteering with them for about three years. And I, you know, I do phone support for people in the community, uh, you know, people who don't really have people to talk to. Suicide uh, intervention is one big one, crisis management as well. And that's been such a rewarding and fulfilling experience that I think is also influencing my direction here at the school and kind of my research interests as well. It's kind of guiding that also. Learning in psychology and, you know, learning about all of these different kind of um, stru like psychological struggles people are going through, to learn about them in the academic side and then to be able to take it practically when I go and work on uh, the distress center phone lines and be able to take all of those theories, all of that stuff I've learned and actually be able to kind of practice it and use a lot of those tools when I'm talking to somebody on the phone, you know, just trying to get, help them through work through their issues. And then at the same time, that what I'm doing on the phone lines with the crisis work is obviously influencing my um, research interests in wanting to work with addictive behaviors and then carrying that forward.